What's up, everybody? It's a YouTube troll, and I wanted to talk about a few things for my first impressions video. Uh, I guess the first thing is the counter system. Um, you guys already saw the counter system and what it does. Basically, uh, if you come upon somebody that likes to get at you a lot, and if you're able to time shit right, uh, you do the counter system about how they're RT and ads on Xbox or R2 and Square on PS3. <laughs> By the way, real quick, um, I did find out that they delayed the demo for PS3 on the North, North American side, and I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> I really do, man. I, I have both consoles, so I'm kind of lucky. But regardless, just, let's just get back on topic. For the counter system, it's pretty. It's a pretty good system if you're good at it. I don't think you can abuse it as much as I thought because you actually have to time it very well. If you don't time it like, well enough, you get fucked up. You, you're exposed to a combo. And you're going to have to sub, and that's going to put you at a disadvantage. And, you know, I want to let you guys know, again, that the counter system is something that if you can predict your opponent's movements or whatever, you're able to actually win the fight pretty easily. Since when you do the counter system, the dude's guard gets broken for like 10 seconds. So you can do a combo into, um, into ultimate pretty quickly and easily. Now, for Awakening, a lot of people have been telling me about Awakening because I've been using it. And let me tell you guys this, okay? The true Awakenings, the ones that are really huge, for example, you can still use the supports for Naruto, right? I don't know if that's going to be the case for every character that has a big Awakening on the actual game. But on the demo, people were concerned because you can even use supports. And let me tell you this. On Revolution, you can actually dash at the Awakening and just beat the living shit out of it like by just beam mashing. Just like on Storm 3, basically. And, in fact, I actually awakened on some dude. He did a triple. I subbed the triple and guarded, and I still got hit by the damn triple, and I lost. Alright, so, it's not a big deal. You guys only see that it's OP because everybody that I'm fighting are herpid groups. You know, they're, they're retards. And they're not able to do shit about it. I mean, if you get caught with no fucking subs, you're done. You know, <laughs> you're done. It's just that simple, man. Now... For the third topic, I have it on a notepad here, new style of fighting. So, the game doesn't really necessarily feel like Storm, okay? You know, you you, you know it's Storm because you played it before, but it's just completely different to what Generation and Storm 3 felt like, you know? And even Storm 2. The, it, it just feels like this game is a game of its own, like on its own series or something. Like, they completely changed everything around. And... I don't know. I, I don't know whether to call that a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it would just have to be... You would have to get used to the controls, to how everything works. And it's a new style of fighting. You know, you have to learn everything over again. As if you're a noob that never played the Naruto game from before. And I guess that's the one issue that most people are kind of coming across. That they're not able to do the all... Like, actually, most of the shit they used, they used to do in Storm 3. And, I don't know, uh, to me it's not a problem, I can learn how to, you know, play that way, it's not a big deal. Uh, it'll take some time though, but it's not a big deal. Now for the drive type, okay, so drive type allows you to use attack and guard, I believe. And then, there's this other feature called auto drive, which I don't know what the fuck it does, because I, I actually only saw it for like two seconds. But, basically, if you have a guard support, if you switch to guard, and you dash enough times at the support, and the supports block your guard, um, I mean your dashes enough times, he gets sent out of the game for a, a small, like a short period of time. So, kind of like on Generations when you would do an ultimate and the balance support would come in to help your opponent and he, he couldn't use that support for like 30 seconds. I think that's what it is. Um, I think it's that, yeah, I think it's like about 30 seconds. That's what happens here in Revolution. You can't use it for a little bit of time, but he'll come back. He doesn't die. Now, for the Instant Awakening not being like Storm 3, okay? So, what I mean by that is that it's not like Neji's, okay? You know how Neji could instant awaken and Mifune could instant awaken uh, on, on Storm 3 and, like, they could automatically turn around and fuck you up? Nah, that just doesn't happen on Revolution. So, for the people that want to abuse instant awakening, make sure you know your shit before you do it because, again, I'm going to say this, you're going to be exposed to a lot of fucking, like, everything. A lot of combos, a lot of, you know, disadvantages if you do it too much. You can't just instant awaken into a combo, and then if the dude subs, you can't just turn off the instant awakening and you automatically turn around. It doesn't happen that way. So make sure you use that wisely. You can actually combo, and then before the combo ends, you can do instant awakening to do a little bit more damage. 
but just know that you're gonna have to whistle sub if they sub behind you in the dash. Just know that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the combos into ultimate. Okay, the combo into ultimate for um for revolution, they're pretty simple. Like you can do them easily now. They're not even a day a big deal anymore because it's like the game implemented it to to like. It's like Cyber Kuna 2 implemented it to the actual game. I mean, what was that? I was talking to Kankuro, and he told me that the CPU did a combo into Ultimate on him. The, the CPU. And, you know, they're pretty simple. You can't do a lot of shit no more. You can't do that whole stylish crap no more. I mean, I know a lot of people like doing stylish. I'm not calling it crap because I hated it or anything like that. But I'm not too familiar with stylish. All I know is that you do a lot of fancy shit. And um, you can't do that no more in Revolution. Um, and for the last thing I wanted to tell you guys is that if you're guarding, make sure that you don't touch the left stick, okay? Because if you as much as touch the left stick while you're guarding, you're going to do a ninja move and you're going to get fucked up. And I guess another thing I wanted to add up here, don't backdash, um, you know, carelessly. Don't backdash carelessly because the person who dashes at you while you're backdashing actually makes you stumble. It's not like... You know what I'm saying? When you backdash and he dashes at you, they don't cancel each other out. He stumbles you and you're going to be exposed to a combo or whatever. So just put that in mind, okay? That's all I really want to talk about my first impressions video. Obviously, I wasn't articulate enough to give you guys some really well-detailed stuff. But, you know, I just gave you the stuff that came in the top of my head. And I put them on a notepad to talk about. But anyways, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.